export a character from the uh, character creator um, three and uh, I'm showing you this using the character creator uh, pipeline so what I'm going to show you is how you can export character direct from the character creator 3.3 and you can be able to do what you want to do it in the uh, ZBrush and when you're done then you can export this character back to the iChrome so I have my character here and this is the character that I'm going to use and what I just want to do is that uh, I want to go direct and export this character so there are two ways either you can use the, this icon here if you look at this icon which one this one here if you click this icon here it will let you that you can export this character direct to the ZBrush the next thing that you can do is that you can go to the export and then you can go uh, export to go as uh, Z so let's do this one let's try so how this my character and I want to maybe to make some here on the ZBrush and when I'm done then I can just import my character back the thing is that mm, if you have to do any modification I showed you a video where you can just export this character as an OBJ then you uh, uh, open it in the ZBrush and then when you're done then you can only be able to export like this hair back if you have to do that within uh, because a ZBrush cannot uh, take it has already always a default character and you cannot be able to export another character on top of that one it will be like two character which you cannot be able to make some modification on it so um, what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to click this button here Gozi and it is going here because I'm using a trial version right now you can also download the trial version and you try it or uh, yeah and then you just say okay to ask you which you want to do so the thing I'm going to do is that uh, I'm just going to say to export my character on an apple so I'm just going to uh, go Z and what I'm very sure is going to open my uh, ZBrush and let's see so this may might take just a few seconds and if you're new to ZBrush um, uh, I'm starting some new tutorial on ZBrush and Marvel Designer I'm also trying to learn them so that I can be familiar with them how they work so you can just subscribe so now the thing with ZBrush if it uh, not show you direct if this character is there so you need to uh, locate so mm, So let's say okay and let's hide this one so I'm going to drag this one and now you can see that I have my character so I just need to say edit and then I'm going to zoom this character a bit uh, because he is here but he is so big so I'm going to look for scale so uh, you can just carry it a bit to see where he is and then uh, I have to rotate this character and then I can move my uh, I can move my character down a bit to see him good so now I have my character on the ZBrush so uh, let's say maybe I wanted to do some uh, here and I'll, I'll just go in so well, before I do anything I just like to share this material uh, to something like yeah to the gray color and then um, now if I want to make some here what I'm going to do is that um, the first thing I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to choose the brush that I'm going to use. Uh, let me see. A uh, console light, and then I'm going to choose the brush that I'm going to use for my.
Uh, so guys, uh, when you're done now, you can uh, come back here and then you can just click that you want to uh, go Z and then when you click this one, um, it will ask you to continue and then you can just say continue and whatever the changes that you made on a character will be now be updated back so it asks you to update and now you can just click here and now your character will be uh, updated back to the character creator so uh, that was just a, a, a quick tool to show you how you can uh, export a character to the ZBrush and also import this character back to the Icron after you're done your modification and uh, without um, um, having to save this character as an OBJ or trying to use the long process. If you have the uh, uh, character creator um, pipeline, then you can just use this one direct with a ZBrush and you can be able to modify your character and also import this character back to your uh, uh, character creator. So thank you for watching this video and uh, hope to see you next on my next video. Bye.